Hi friends, I'm Beth and I'm back with another episode of How I'm Doing It. Today, I stopped by my local Walgreens slash Kroger on the way home from work just to see what I could see. I intended to go in there for a few basic things, needed some milk, a little cereal, the basics. Um, I found so many interesting, fabulous clearance deals that I totally forgot to buy the milk. <laughs> so, let me show you what I got. Um, like, seriously, there's things in here that it's rare to see on clearance, like produce and um, meat. And anyway, let me just show you. So here is the whole amount of what I got all laid out. Very few things I paid for full price. This was all either on sale or e-coupons or clearance stickers. Look for the 50% off clearance stickers because they look like this and they're amazing. There was so much variety and so much quantity of clearance items and realistically, I left a lot. I did not clear the shelves or get everything. Um, and um, let me tell you a little tip here. There are so many things that you can freeze that you may have never thought of. So, a lot of this stuff, I can just put in the freezer. Um, my kids are with their other side of the family this weekend, and when they come back on Monday, I can pull stuff out of the freezer. So, even if it looks like it's got a short date on it, it doesn't matter. Stick it in the freezer. Hold on to it. Um, most of this stuff has several days ahead on it anyway. Um, stick it in the freezer and make use of it. Buy when the price is low. Stock up your freezer with things that are in the low price range. And then, you know, you just go to your freezer to pull out something for dinner or snack later. And you're not paying full price on a regular basis. It's a great way to look at your whole food budget and how you buy food so that you can start buying at the lower price points more frequently and save more money. Okay, so starting left to right, we've got the rice checks, the Cheerios, and two boxes of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. My middle schooler adores Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is the only cereal that he specifically asks for each time I go to the store. Sometimes with the pandemic, you know, supply chain issues, sometimes I can't find it, but he loves it. And General Mills, since they are the manufacturer for all of these different varieties of cereal, they were having a sale today. So with my special in-app coupons, I got some nice things. These were $1.88 a piece. And then I had some discounts of um, basically $1.50 per two. That I got so it was 75 cents off a piece so basically for a little bit more than one dollar per box we got some name brand cereal and I'm gonna be you know cereal mom of the year here to my kids so there we go okay then we got sandwich bread 50 cent 50 percent off this brought it down to 60 something cents per loaf you can make a lot of grilled cheese and peanut butter sandwiches with two loaves of bread at 60 something cents this was a little bit of a splurge. It has a sell-by date two days from now. You can put it in the freezer. You can put bread in the freezer. Muffins in the freezer. 50% off. Brought it down to like $2 and something. I'll show my um, receipt line item by line item at the end of the video. Little Debbie. 50% off. 50% off fudge rounds. 50% off Swiss cake rolls. 50% off Swiss cake rolls. And I did not even look at the date on this. Oh, here it is. What does it say? The date is November 25th. That's two weeks away. Believe me, once my kids come home, these won't even last two days. This says uh, date November 28th. That's more than two weeks away. We will eat them before they go bad. I don't even really need to stick them in the freezer because they'll eat them up quick. I did pay full price for mayonnaise because we're out and I paid uh, full price for the peanut butter because I adore peanut butter and I'm almost out. Literally, I'll eat it by the spoonful. So yeah, the pepperoni pizza has a sell by date of 11:14. that's three days away. It said it was clearance, I don't know why. I mean, it's a pizza. I can stick it in the freezer. It doesn't matter because you know, my kids will love it. Sometimes something goes on clearance because it's something simple. Maybe they're changing the art on the box. Maybe they're changing the toppings. 
you know, maybe they're changing a logo or something. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. It just means go ahead, pick it up, score that deal, stick it in your freezer if need be so that you can beat the date. Um, and then, you know, make the best of it. Also, a sell-by date is not a use-by date. They're different. So, sell-by means sell, buy, um, and bring it home and stick it in your freezer and use it by, but it doesn't mean it goes bad immediately on that date. You can put it in the freezer. Also, um, I don't know how my colors are showing on here. I feel like I'm getting some discoloration on my phone, but this is a really old phone and it's got a lot of cracks in the screen. I've dropped it a million times. The color on here is actually good and uniform, but I feel like I'm getting a bad shadow across the middle. So if there's any discoloration, the pizza's fine. Okay, Gala apples, 50% off. Organic Gala apples. And then we've got navel oranges, four pound bag, 50% off. We've got turkey. One pound of ground turkey. Each one was 85% lean, 50% off. Guacamole salsa. Sell by two days from now. I personally might finish this within the next 24 hours. 50% off. Italian sausage, 16 ounces, 50% off. Sell by 10 days from now. Why are we 50%ing off something from 10 days from now? Um, this is... Uh, actually, what is that? Um, 12 days from now, sell by 11.23, 50% off. 11.24, that's 13 days away, 50% off. The steak, this is a ribeye, 50% off. It looks amazing. Sell by 11.15, four days away. I'm gonna eat that this weekend. I'm not even gonna bother freezing it. Stew beef, 50% off, sell by 11.15, that's four days away. I'll freeze that. I'll use that for stew later. Put some carrots, some onions, some potatoes with it in the crock pot. We're golden. This is the family size of the Voila garlic chicken, 50% off. And this is a tremendous bag. This is not the regular size. This is 42 ounces, two pounds and 10 ounces worth of dinner. And it says two times more than our regular Voila 21% product line, or 21 ounce product line. So I got two of those. Um, you know, I paid $60, but I got some really good quality stuff. My kids will be happy. I'll be happy. We got some healthy food, healthy food, healthy food, healthy food, uh, junk food, you know, basics, pantry basics. So I wanted to show you, keep your eyes open, keep an open mind, wander around, look for these yellow stickers, see what you can find. I would love to hear your stories. I would love to hear your stories of what you find at your local stores too. I get the biggest kick, like I've said before, out of watching other people's grocery haul videos and seeing what they get for what prices. Um, it's like a big game to me to see what can you get for the most variety of you know, the lowest prices and whatnot. I mean, you can really make your dollars stretch, especially with this pandemic pricing going on, you know, inflation, supply chain shortages, it really prompts you to think outside the box and, you know, not stick to whatever your regular routine is and, you know, think of new ways to feed your family and stock your pantry and stock your freezer. Um, I always give this caveat because some people are confused and think that this is all we eat. This is not all we eat. I have a pantry and a refrigerator, two refrigerators and two freezers full of food. So we've got plenty more than this. Um, that's one of the benefits of buying when things are on sale is I can have a variety of things. I don't ever run out before I go back to the store. Um, and over time, you're not scrambling, you know, with nothing in the kitchen to eat. I go shopping when I have time and when I want to, not because we're hungry at home or anything. This is not a fully, complete, perfectly balanced meal. Like I said, I even forgot the milk. I also need cheese. So basically, I forgot dairy items today, but we have plenty of dairy. Um, so anyway, just planning ahead, thinking outside the box, being willing to plan a little differently and look at your store shelves a little differently with a more open mind can give you some real opportunities. Um, stack this up over multiple shopping trips over the course of a year, and you can really make a difference with your food budget. 
thank you for watching me. I am always so happy to share what I have and my adventures and what I found in the deals. I wanna see you guys also get deals. I wanna hear what your triumphs were, what you found at the grocery store, any successes that you've had. I get a huge kick out of that. And um, so share below in the comments. If you like what I'm doing, I would appreciate you to click like, click subscribe, um, turn on the notifications, tell your friends, share my link, all those great things. Um, anyway, thank you again. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm fixing to start a very relaxing weekend and get ready to see my kids on Monday and see what their reactions are to these little goodies that they've been looking forward to. All right, thanks friends. I'm Beth and that's how I'm doing it. Okay, so here are the prices that I paid. Um, basically, everything was either on sale. So here's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and uh, that was $3.76 for two, which is $1.88 a piece. The checks and the Cheerios were $1.88. Um, and then we had the, um, let's see, that's the white sandwich bread that was 50% off. So that was 64 and 64. Gala apples, 50% off, uh, 224. Cream cheese muffins, 50% off. 199 and then let's see we had pepperoni pizza that was on clearance so that was 249 and then um, the stew meat the stew beef that was 50% off that's 309 50 percent off the ribeye steak 499 mayonnaise that was actually legit full price no discount 299 um, ground Italian sausage 274 at 50% off 50% off of the sweet Italian sausage links that was $2.74 each um, with the 50% off. The ground turkey, 85% lean, was 50% off each. That was $1.99 each. And then 50% off of the Little Debbie fudge rounds and Swiss cake rolls. Those were $0.99 cents a piece with the 50% discount. Jimmy Dean uh, Simple Scrambles, those were 50% off. That was $1.64 each. But I also had, and I bought a deal that was 75 cents off each. So it brought it down. My grand total after my bought a discount was under a dollar each. Naval oranges, that was uh, $2.49 after the 50% discount. The voila bird's eye garlic chicken, that's the family size 42 ounce bags. That was, um, let's see, $3.99 after the 50% discount. And then the peanut butter I paid regular price for, that was $1.59 each. Guacamole was 50% off, that was $2.24. Had e-coupons for the General Mills cereal, um, two $1.50 e-coupons that were within my Walgreens app. Subtotal tax, and then um, $62.79 total to my credit card. I got a dollar, uh, how much was it? A dollar 60 back on Ibotta, I got 37 fetch points. Also, because I used um, another offer that was in my Walgreens card, um, my Walgreens app, so to speak, actually, um, it gave me, since I spent more than $25 in one trip, I had a special offer of get six dollars um, Walgreens cash back, so I got one dollar. It's the My Rewards program, so I got six dollars that went to my rewards account that I can use on a future visit. And then right here at the very bottom, it says I had my total discount of forty five ninety five includes eight sixty seven Walgreens savings. Uh, 251 store advertised three dollars manufacturer coupon savings which were the e-coupons and then the rest of it was just it, it was this you know 50% clearance discount stickers